Good morning, dear students. Let me continue with the remaining part of the sample question paper discussion. So here comes module four. Module four, you know, it is about Maxwell's equations and electromagnetic waves. In this chapter, fifty percent is mathematics, fifty percent is physics. You might have felt this in your regular classes when your teacher was talking about curl, divergent, gradient, and then the Biot-Savart law, Gauss theorem, setting up of Maxwell's equations, Dell operator, scalar field, vector, vector field. So while explaining all these things, you might have felt that this particular module is a mixture of mathematics and physics. Yes, it is true. Well, here comes the first question. Of course, question number seven. Explain the terms gradient, divergence, and curl along with examples. See here for the definition one mark, equation one mark, example one mark. Like that, gradient three marks, divergence three marks, curl also three marks. In this chapter, we have what is called Dell operator. Dell operator is nothing but dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z. Okay. now comes gradient definition gradient at any point in the scalar field is equal to rate of change of scalar quantity along the normal normal means perpendicular direction so you please recall electric field in puc you studied electric field we call electric field as a gradient of potential e is equal to dv by dx gradient means when you differentiate some parameter with respect to distance then it is called gradient it may be voltage gradient that is dv by dx or velocity gradient dv by dx or temperature gradient dt by dx like when you you are sitting in front of fire very close to fire you feel more heat because there is more temperature as you go away from the fire with the distance the temperature keeps on decreasing or if you move towards the fire with the distance temperature is increasing gradually so gradual decrease gradual increase this increase or decrease is a variable quantity with respect to distance such parameters are called gradients in mathematics we write gradient as a del f where f is a scalar quantity like temperature potential Color, resistance, etc. These are all gradients. If a hungry boy does the blows pieces, like you give you best example, colors, no, they are arranged in a decreasing manner. Dark brown, light brown, like that they keep on decreasing. Even in computer also you can see the gray gradual variation of the colors. Okay, when you choose a particular color, they show the graded variation. So variation taking place with respect to distance is called gradual variations or gradient. And mathematically it is given by del f. So you have to read it as grad f. That is del f. It is just multiplication, not dot product, not cross product. Simple multiplication. And you, I told you, no del is nothing but do by Do x, do by do x of i plus do by do y of j, do by do z of k multiplied by f. This is a simple multiplication. And example, I told you, electric field is the negative gradient of potential. Negative gradient means in the direction of uh, electric field, potential is decreasing. That means if you go in the direction of electric field, means as you move away from the charge, potential is decreasing that is the meaning of course gradient can be positive can be negative i told you know in temperature as you move away from the fire temperature is decreasing as you move towards the fire temperature the amount of heat what you feel is increasing that is the meaning of gradient now coming to divergence divergence means something which is coming out diverge uh, lines are diverging lines are converging anta kelidir alva something which is coming from a particular point we call it as divergence in mathematics our definition wise it is defined as the dot product it is not simply product divergence is a dot product whereas gradient is an ordinary product look at the sentence divergence of a vector see gradient is actually product of scalar divergence is actually product with vector so that is the difference gradientally ee parameter idella idu scalar agirutte del hage irutte divergence alli this parameter is a vector and of course it is not a ordinary multiplication it is a dot product so del dot h is equal to del is here h i told you it is a vector therefore it is a hxi or xi plus yj plus zk like that so definition divergence of a vector is the dot product of del and a vector it is given by this equation example okay example is electric flux magnetic flux etc flux lines are coming out therefore it is divergence so 
divergence finally it is a scalar quantity gradient finally it is a vector quantity electric field is a vector quantity electric flux is a scalar quantity it must be a scalar quantity because i am taking the dot product and you know dot product always gives you scalar quantity now comes curl curl andre yenu suttodu tiruvodu anta curl curly hairs anta kelidira alva water curling anta helu kelti alva andre something which is rotating at a given place is called curl neerinalli suli anta ಇದೀವಿ ನೋಡಿ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಳಿ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ನೀರಲ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕರ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಕರ್ಲ್ ಕರ್ಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಸ್ಕೇಲರ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ curl of a vector is the cross product of del and a vector see in all the three whether it is gradient or divergence and curl we have del essentially if del is ordinary multiplied it is gradient dot product if you take divergence cross product if you take it is curl okay curl is a cross product of del and a vector del and a vector magnetic field is a vector so this is a curl and cross product you know how to find out with the help of matrix this you already studied in puc and the example curl represents rotational effect anta heltare rotational effect iga on the straight conductor straight conductor alli current pass aagta idre magnetic field is curling anta helodilva so magnetic field is a best example for curl okay now next question 7b starting from maxwell's equation obtain the wave equation and velocity of uh, electromagnetic waves this is one of the important derivation first i start with maxwell's equation del cross e is equal to minus del b by del t uh, b is nothing but mu into h therefore it is my mu into do, do h by do t or del h by del t now both the sides you multiply by del that means the take the curl that means del cross here del cross here so when i put del cross here this side i put del cross here just follow the steps carefully and next this you, you are supposed to remember this particular equation that is uh, del cross del cross h is equal to del cross del cross h is equal to del dot h minus del square h this equation you are supposed to remember so in place of h i write e so the next step please follow carefully these steps are self explanatory okay so in the place of del cross del cross e i have del dot e minus del square e e formula na illi use maadidini del dot e so okay uh, minus uh, oh sorry sorry illi ondu del miss agide sorry illi del one miss agide sorry here there should be del dot del dot e. see this del i should write here del okay just i write it here illi ondu del irbekagittu ad miss agide okay now let me proceed for the uh, next uh, del dot d this is nothing but gauss theorem please practice this equation whatever i explain it is not going to give you clear idea unless you practice this all the steps i have displayed here just go through them okay so this is del cross del cross h and in the place of del cross uh, del dot h minus del square h i have written e h is replaced by e and then this particular part i replace by gauss theorem okay the alge e e e del nane extra barudala ad hange ulkolute and in this place i write rho v by epsilon minus del square e so this is the formula next again you will have to remember recall my maxwell's equation this is the maxwell's equation in place of del cross h you write this in place of del cross h you write this alge lhs as it is irutte rhs nodi minus mu by do t that is minus mu by mu into do by do t sorry minus mu into do by do t the del cross h jagadalli this whole thing will come and sit this is del cross h next expand Uh, lhs remains as it is this i expand i open the bracket okay now i am supposed to calculate in vacuum in vacuum there is no charge there is no current therefore this term becomes zero this term becomes zero this term becomes zero so the next step will be like this okay del square e and then this part remains minus del square e becomes plus and this becomes uh, zero this minus uh, sorry this del square e goes that side so del square e kade bandaga del square e minus mu epsilon do square e by do t square but in vacuum mu becomes mu not epsilon becomes epsilon not therefore i have this equation okay this equation what i have here this equation is similar to this equation is similar to i already wrote this in uh, schrodinger's wave equation 
that is d square y by dx square is equal to 1 by v square into d square y by dt square same ide alge 1 by v square jagadalli mu not epsilon not ide therefore v is equal to 1 by root of mu not epsilon not so you obtain the expression for velocity anta irodrinda obtain the expression for velocity irodrinda so you write v is equal to 1 by root of mu not epsilon not root of mu not epsilon not so that's all about this derivation okay i move on to the next question now it is a numerical problem okay sorry let uh, the vector point sorry 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 see uh, the, the there is a vector there is a vector here you have to find vector y z i z k z x j plus x y k k i j all are unit vectors find the curl and you know how to find the curl it is nothing but cross product curl p is given by this matrix and you know how to find first you write i and then leave this column and this row next this into this this into this that i have done here minus j j leave this column this row next this into this and uh, yz into do by do z do by do z into yz similarly plus k into allige idu nodona differentiate maadi do y by do y one so i left with x here next do z by do z i left plus x here so allige x minus x adhe tara idunu differentiate maadi y minus y idunu differentiate maadi z minus z so when you get x minus x y minus y z minus z whole thing becomes zero when total curl is zero we call it as irrotational field we call it as irrotational field okay dear students i stop this video here i come back to you with the remaining part on this particular module okay thank you thank you very much